Hello everybody, this is Man of Truth 11 and I'd like to introduce you all to a new series where I'll take my best shot at building cars specifically for A-class circuit racing and pitting them against each other to see which one is the best. Now this commentary isn't in real time, the commentary was done after the filming of the video segments because I record all of my footage with the built-in game DVR feature. And I kind of want this to be a scripted review of the car and how it performs in game. Now, I introduce you to the first car of the series, the 1997 Mazda RX-7. The stock car has a PI of 469, it weighs only around 2,800 pounds and makes 261 horsepower. The car comes stock with a 1.3 liter rotary engine, also designated as the 13B RWE. I chose to stick with the rotary due to its low weight and high power output. Now something people are going to debate is whether you use sport or racing tires. And one of the reasons I chose to use the sport tires is because they provide a much needed amount of grip to the wheels, but they also take less PI compared to the racing tires, which leaves more space for power. Boy did I put power in. Once I finished putting in all the engine upgrades, the car made a respectable 387 horsepower, 291 foot-pounds of torque, and with all that put into a car that only weighs 2,400 pounds, it made for a fun little machine. Moving on to the tuning of the car. I'm going to admit that I sometimes have no idea what I'm doing, so take all the things I say with a grain of salt. Don't hate on me too much. First thing I start out with is the gearing of the car. And the peak amount of power is made between 7,200 and 9,000 RPM. So I tuned the gears accordingly and made it so that when you shift up or down, your revs are always close to or in that sweet spot. After that, it was on the alignment starting with camber. Now, I tune the camber in a way so that when the car is going around a corner, the entirety of your tire tread is against the ground. A good way I've found a test for this is checking the tire temperature while turning hard left or right. If the inside of the tire is hotter or colder than the outside of the tire, then the entirety of the tire isn't making as much contact as it could be. When the temperature on the inside, middle, and outside of the tire is even, or as close to even as you can get it, the whole tire is making contact with the ground. Putting those two things aside, anti-roll bar and suspension are kind of a personal preference thing, but only to an extent. I kind of like a medium suspension setup, so that it's not too hard or too soft, so I drove around trying to find what I felt comfortable with, which was a little bit stiffer than what the car came with before I tuned it. Finally, onto the circuit to spa for a couple laps of the track. I took the car only around four times, including the beginning lap, and boy, was this thing fun. The way the RX-7 is most commonly used is for drifting, but I think this little racket is fun for circuit racing too. With the thick 275s in the rear and 245s in the front, the car becomes remarkably planted and stable through corners, so long as you don't poke it with a stick. And even then, it's very forgiving. When I built this car, I thought it was going to be a pain to drive around corners, but I was wrong. Any corner over 70 to 80 miles an hour I could go flat out and the car wouldn't push the rear tires out of line. The car with me behind the wheel managed a 2 minute 35.2, which may not be the best, but with the better driver at the wheel, I reckon this car could do lap times that are seconds ahead of mine. Even though I was doing lap times of 2.35 and 2.36, I still felt like a tarmac eating machine. The engine noise is fantastically loud and high, with the engine revving up to 9,200 RPM and a top speed of the car predicted at 203 miles an hour, I think this car could be really good for online multiplayer due to it being about as big as the BRZ and nimble enough to swerve through heavy amounts of traffic. But if you're using this in free play against unbeatable bots, you might be better off with something else like the Ferrari FF or a well-tuned caterer. Thank you all for watching the video. If you did like this video and you would like to see more like this, then like and subscribe for future Forza related content. If you didn't like the video, then give me your criticisms in the comments. I'd love to find ways to make this more entertaining for you as a viewer. Thanks for watching everybody, peace out.